Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is my first cold steel with the triad lock. This is a Micro Recon 1 with the Tonto blade shape because that is all they had at the time. Yes, I have previously opened this box to double check what I had inside. I also already made this video and Again, my phone decided to go to the home screen partway through, so I had to redo it all. Anyway, these are my first impressions on the Micro Recon 1. It is a decent knife for the size, 4116 stainless, pretty smooth. Uh, I'm going through this way too quick. It's I wouldn't be worried about dropping stuff or about having a finger or something in there, it doesn't close hard enough for you to really get hurt. But always be careful. It didn't leave a mark on any of my fingernails when I did this, so that might be saying something. I figured out partway through the last video that I could flick it open if I got just the right angle. Um... Surprisingly enough, it isn't a pinned construction for being so small. It is T6s and a T8. And also for being so small, they did decide to use the triad lock, which is interesting. This was $26 and some odd cents. I really don't remember the price. I bought this a week ago. It's comfortable for how small it is. I can fit three fingers. I have fairly small hands though. This would be a great box opener or something of the like. Um, I don't know if it's worth that much though. I'd say 20 all day, I'd buy it. But even that extra five bucks is pushing it. There we go. Okay, so we are also going to be taking this thing apart. We will start with the T8. This one had blue Loctite. It wasn't hard to break. I tightened these up about to where they were before I opened it. Which again, I, I wish my phone would stop having this problem. Yeah, so this is about how they were. You put a little bit of pressure just in case, but then it just breaks away easy. And that one didn't have any Loctite, but this one does. There we go. Next, we pick this up, pop it open slightly. And it comes off very nicely. This is just about how it came. It has one nylon washer. And then on the opposite side, it just uses the material from the handle scale as a spacer instead. So we're going to go ahead and do a slight bit of maintenance on this thing to have it how I want it. And to do that, we are going to take the spring bar off, or the lock bar off, and the spring will stay where it is. You're going to put a tiny, tiny dab of oil right there. Beautiful. Stick this right back on. done. I believe that's how it was. I, I didn't watch the video back like I said I would in the other video to see, but it fits both ways anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think. Anyway, we'll see if that prevents a little bit of friction. Um, we're going to put a couple more dabs on right here. I had to wipe all that up just to redo this video. It was ridiculous. And then we're going to do two on this. And 
we will be putting it back together. Uh, we'll put a dab on here too. Okay. There we go. Right how it should be. This is very easy to put back together. Everything lines up without even looking straight at it. Without, you know, dead on looking at it. You can look at it from the side and it'll go on just perfect. Let's see here. There we go. Make sure it's not double threading or cross threading. Oh, this one did have a little bit of blue Loctite. Blue Loctite will always be preferred to red. Just a little bit of extra torque. Lock it in. Swap over to the T8. For the pivot. There we go. Okay, so how this comes, it shouldn't be hard to close. So what you're going to do is back it off slightly until you can almost flick it open first try. It should be nice and smooth. There we go. Just that's how it should be right there. And there you go. That is first impressions and maintenance on a Micro Recon 1. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching.